Hello guys, this is Donald's Movies, and welcome to the 52nd episode of the World of Warcraft Lore Q&As. Now, in this video, as always, I will try to respond to your questions that you have left on the previous Lore Q&A video, Q&A 51. Now, as always, you can send your questions by the YouTube comment section, like the one below this video. It's the best if you do it that way, because I can just see which questions are for which video. Also, you can send your questions by Facebook and Twitter, and I can't always feature them in these videos, but if I don't, I will try to respond to them personally. And if I don't even do that, just send it again after like a week, because a lot of times I see the question and I want to respond to it, and I just get sidetracked and do other things and completely forget about the question, so it's not spam, just try to send it again if I don't respond to it. Also, before I start the video, I just want to say that I will be doing a 12-hour live stream. I made a video before this one, and it's going to happen on the 17th of January, so that's on the next Saturday. So if you want to join in, it will be like a 12 hour stream from like 12 to 12, my time from like 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. And I will try to do multiple games playing with viewers and also uh, like this like this sort of a Q&A pretty much. I will try to do a Q&A, not, like not just a Q&A, but you can always ask me questions about the lore or about roleplay or just personal questions or whatever you want to ask, so... Feel free to join the stream then, that's in like 6 or 5 days for this video, depends on when it's uploaded. And also before I start, I just want to say I'm sorry for not really uploading videos that much in the past like a week or so, since I was away for the holidays and all that. And this video is also a bit late, I was supposed to do it a bit earlier, but I kinda got sidetracked. So, I will try to do more videos from now on, I'm going to get back to the regular schedule. And I got a bunch of lore videos planned, I got a lore lesson, I wanna do one on Ronin because I haven't done that. Also, I don't really want to do too many top 5s right now, I just want to focus on the lore. And I will try to do more of these 1 minute lore videos, also collaborations. I have a few planned right now, and see this is just a bunch more lore is planned for the channel in the upcoming future, or just future. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Also the stream, I made a video before, and I'm already wasting too much time with the video. So let's just actually get into the question. The first question is by Yusifix, and he asks... In Heels Brad Foothills, Drector says basically, I've done things that haunt me to this day. Although the Drector on Draenor at the moment seems all good. So are we going to see the Dark Drector in Alternate Universe Draenor? And what did Drector do in our universe that still haunts him? Alright, so I can really see how you got the impression that he's like a really wise orc, like a wise shaman. Mostly due to us seeing him at an old age. And also the entire world's Draenor situation, but that is a bit of a different thing as alternate universe characters aren't really the same and don't really behave the same as the real ones. I mean, some do, but the thing is, it's not an exact copy, so some things might be a bit different. But Drektar is actually a wise shaman, but that is mostly because he learned from his past mistakes and what he did in the past. And long ago, back on Draenor, he wasn't as appalled by the entire demonic corruption as Durathan was and many people in the Frostwolf clan. And once the elements abandoned the orcish race, he took the path of the warlock and took part in just many killings of Draenei people and just genocide. And not just killing soldiers, but innocent civilians. And that is the thing he is really talking about, like the dark things he did in his past. After that, he was exiled together with the Frostwolves and he abandoned the ways of the warlock and rediscovered the shaman and himself again. So now he kinda knows what he did in the past, and that is why he doesn't really like the Forsaken, because he thinks they're committing genocide, which which they kinda are, honestly. I mean, you know, like a full scale, but they are sort of doing genocide. And he doesn't really want to take any part of it, even if the Horde demands him to, so that's, that's sort of the story behind the entire thing. Alright, next question is by Gunes, or is it Gunes? I'm not really great with this language, I don't know if it's German or Swedish or whatever it is, so I'm just gonna read it as Gunes. And he asks, I was at BlizzCon 2014 and by chance managed to bump into Craig Amai, the lead quest designer for World's Draenor at the food court. I have been wondering what happened to Maiev, so I asked him if we will see more of her anytime soon. He grinned and said, oh you will see more of her, just wait. How do you speculate that she will reappear? As it stands, she is a fugitive and her whereabouts are unknown. Well, that is honestly some good inside info to hear since I haven't heard about it before. And I was also kind of wondering about the same thing, but I do know that we will see her at some point. because I'm in Wolfheart she escaped and they didn't just let her escape in order to not do anything. So I'm not really certain of how much a quest designer knows about that or kinda just has the influence in implementing like crucial characters into the game. I don't really know what sort of a role they have in Blizzard. But my best speculation is that she would return maybe in some sort of like an Illidan expansion or might even go like full evil and become a villain or join the Burning Legion and kinda forsake all of her people like the Night Elves. To be honest, I haven't really thought of seeing her in World's Draenor by now, honestly. I mean, I knew she was gonna come back at some point in the future, but I don't really see her coming in World's Draenor. But if you do see her, that would be great, because there was really no sign of Maiev since the Burning Crusade, 
and then sort of since wolf card where she kind of barely escaped meaning that she might want to come back and get revenge on her brother jared or the highborn or even terende and malfurion so that would sort of be in another scenario maybe in like an expansion like the eye of ashara as it would be all about the fallen highborn naga and the night elves so she might have some sort of a role in that all right next question is by the epic pickle 900 and he asks who do you think Ephiel or Ephiel, the guy who betrays Admiral Taylor in the Spiders of Arrakt, served? When you killed him, he said the Dark One promised me so much if I succeeded. Which confirms that he's not just some random necromancer who did it for the lols. Alright, so I recently did this questline. I know a lot of people are saying, why haven't you leveled to level 100? I sort of did in the beta, but I'm just taking a lot of time in doing it in the actual game. But I'm sort of there, I'm almost like level 99, so I'm almost done with it. And I haven't really done all of the Spiders of Arrakt quests. I did like the main ones, but I haven't really completely finished the zone. I usually do that like once I complete the level. I just go into the zones and do all of the side quests I might have missed just in order to f kind of finish everything. So do correct me if I'm wrong on this, if there is like some sort of an info or a hint that I might be missing. And this is just kind of a way I see it from my current perspective, not knowing if there's something else. So I honestly see two cases, either being it killed to Zad or the old gods. Killed Azad because he was killed many times but never really died and we really know that he's still alive and he was going to come back at some point in the future so this would be a great opportunity to let us know that the Scourge is not completely dead and that it's still there and it's still some sort of a threat. Now another scenario could be an old god which I think is most likely because we knew the Arakoa before wanted to summon an old god and this happened in the Arakoa zone and honestly the Dark One sounds really like an old god that wants to rule instead of Keltuzad because Keltuzad, you could say kind of that he's a Dark One, but like the Dark One kind of sounds like the an old god. But design wise, I honestly think they just killed Admiral Taylor because Nazgrim died, so they didn't want to keep the imbalance between the factions. So this was kind of a good opportunity to kind of balance out the factions. But again, I could be wrong on this, and I might have missed some other hint or like a quest or some like a book that I haven't read in the game yet, so. If you know anything that is proving otherwise, feel free to leave a comment as I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what you guys think about this. As honestly, it is kind of interesting and I was kind of really confused about the entire thing and I'm kind of still wondering. Alright, and the last question is by Dio Siegel and he asks, In all the while we have left, do you think we will see the Son of Troll in action? And if so, which class is he going to be? A shaman like his parents or another class? Alright, so I don't really know about uh, how much WoW we have left, because, I mean, WoW is like a fantasy universe, and, I mean, Warcraft is a fantasy universe, because World of Warcraft, but, but I mean, it's like an alternate universe to, like, our universe, yeah, and you pretty much have, like, a full living, breathing world, and even though it's powered by servers, it's like an actual world, I mean, you even have an economy and all that, so it can just end like any story, for example, you have, like, the Lord of the Rings or something like that, I mean, they're just a book, so they can kind of end it. But this is sort of like a living world that's still going on, so I don't think they would really end it anytime soon. But yeah, I'm just kind of kind of getting off topic here, so let's just get on to the real question. And I would definitely say yes. I mean, his son Durek is, I believe, two years old right now, or three. I believe it's two. And depending on what happens in the next ten years or so, I do see him and as maybe being like a, another Anduin Vryn. And maybe Anduin and Durek will side with the Army of the Light in the end, which I kind of see as an interesting concept. And some people speculate that Alexstrasza like touched the stomach of Agram and that Durek was like magically enhanced or something like that, which I think is less likely, but it would be an interesting concept to see, as in that way they can do multiple things like that. For example, they can magically like enhance him, like make him older, sort of the entire thing with Garona that happened, and they can say Alexstrasza saw the entire thing and she wanted to make him older in order to serve the world when, he, when it needed him. And that, that can sort of go on the entire theory which, where she said like the mortals will rule the world now or take care of the world and that they have done their job so it might be a sort of an insight in the past or it might just be a made up theory by me and that makes like no sense at all and it will never happen but I do think it is a pretty fun concept honestly and it could potentially add like a new interesting character that has an entire family full of important lore like Dreka, Durotan, Troll, Agra and now do rag. Alright, that is all I have for this lore Q&A. Thanks a lot for watching, and don't forget to leave your questions, as, as it always was, pretty much, by the YouTube comment section, or Facebook and Twitter, and if I don't respond to them, feel free to send them again, as I will try to respond to them in the future videos, or just I will try to respond to them personally. Also, as I said, I made an announcement video for a 12-hour stream that I will be doing on the 17th of January, so if you want to check that out, that is 
before this video I might link it in the description below for like a quicker way for you to see it so anyways if you like the video don't forget to like favorite and subscribe as it really helps out the channel and keeps all these videos going and all of the content going and improving and as I said follow my twitch.tv channel as I will be streaming there quite seriously now when I'm doing the 12 hour stream on there I sort of mentioned that already but yeah that's the entire thing and anyways thanks a lot for taking your time out of your day to watch this video and see you next time